I really believe that God can use one man to impact the nation. I really believe that. There's a reason that the Lord brought you here tonight. I believe that. I believe that with all my heart. This is, this is what I want to do, okay? Uh, your wife's name is Christy. And children's name? Peyton and Preston. All right, here's what we're going to do. This is just like when you're out sharing the gospel with somebody. you got to remember their names, right? We're going to go first name. No doubt. I'm not going to compromise who I am in Jesus Christ. Can you imagine if the spark of revival, the Holy Spirit, just grabbed a hold more of what you already have? I believe, look, we are praying that this goes out into our spheres of influence. We've seen that on a video where Howard says, you know, look, I'm going to do this at Forks RV. We've seen that in public schools where 12 public schools say, you know, we're going to give excused absences. We're seeing it there. Imagine if it goes back to pray, we need to do it. I want to do it in groups. I want to get into groups of five to seven. You're praying for Marlon and Christy and Peyton and Preston. Okay, you know who to, how to pray for them. You know how to pray for protection against their family. But folks, number one, I am praying for the spirit of boldness to overwhelm this man of God. Wouldn't that be awesome? That he would even be more so than what you even found them. Praying for is that we are praying for that the Holy Spirit will overwhelm the politicians, that we will press in right now in America. God, would you do that right now? Would you move in this nation? Father, you have made birth upon me a heart for this nation. May it break out, may it break out, God. We are on day 27. I can just see, I can just sense the Holy Spirit moving. You just feel his presence. God, I am asking that you press in right now. Press in through the body of Christ and may we just see. Lord, I just feel it. Oh, Lord God, I just see two, one through four. This is why we pray. First of all, then, I urge that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for everybody. So, yeah, we are supposed to pray for the bums. We are supposed to pray for the homeless. We are supposed to pray for the middle age. Scripture says pray for everybody, but also pray for kings and those who are in authority so that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. In other words, if we want to walk out this godliness, if we want to walk out this tranquil life, we've got to pray for those that are in charge. But now listen to this. Verse 3, it says, 1 Timothy 2, this is good, and it pleases God. God, our Savior, who wants everybody to be saved. Man, that's the Father's heart, is that all of His children, everybody here would be saved. And I believe it can happen when He presses on. Thank you for Marvin. Marlon, thank you so much for my congressman here and his wife, Christy, and Peyton and Preston. Thank you so much for how you've raised up Congress and citizens for such a time as this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's jump into the song. Let's start jumping in. Let's go. Thank you.